Hey, what's up guys? It's Anatoly here. Today we're going to talk about the 2016 Yahoo data breaches. So it all started off in September of 2016 when, out of nowhere, Yahoo posted an announcement reporting a data breach, confirming that the account information of at least 500 million users was stolen from the company's network. Uh, so this information included like names, email addresses, phone numbers, zip codes, dates of birth, hash passwords, and like and the usual information stolen in a data breach. To Yahoo's credit, uh, financial information, such as credit cards and bank account info, that was safe. It was stored somewhere else. Yahoo blamed this breach on state-sponsored hackers, and the U.S. Department of Justice later charged two Russian spies who were responsible for the breach. So Yahoo was aware of this breach since late 2014, that's right, they waited two years to announce the breach. And, of course, you could imagine how that played out. There are a lot of shareholder lawsuits, as well as several class action lawsuits against Yahoo. The funny thing is that two months before Yahoo's announcement of the data breach, Verizon announced that it was going to buy Yahoo for $4.83 billion. But apparently, Yahoo only told Verizon about the breach one day before announcing it to the public, two months after the agreement of acquisition. So you can imagine how that played out. In July, Verizon was like, Hey, Yahoo, I will buy you for $4.83 billion, only if you promise that you're a good company. Yahoo was like, Cool, yes, I am a very good company. No data breaches here. And they shook hands, fist bumped, and went about their day. And two months later, Yahoo was like, Hey, Verizon, remember how we said that part about the no data breaches? Uh, as you can imagine, Verizon wasn't too happy about that and later knocked off $350 million from the asking price. And of course, this isn't the end of it. Uh, in December of the same year, Yahoo came out and said, uh, Hey guys, remember how like two months ago we said that there was a breach um, with like 500 million users impacted? Yeah, we, we, we kind of found another breach, uh, which dates back to 2013. Uh, only about 1 billion users were impacted. Uh, and everyone was like, okay, like we weren't really expecting much from you, Yahoo, like at this point. At least not all 3 billion of your users were impacted, right? And wouldn't you believe it, 10 months later... To this day, the 2016 Yahoo data breaches are considered to be the biggest data breaches in history, dwarfing other huge data breaches by orders of magnitude. And that concludes the tale of the 2016 Yahoo data breaches. Thank you for watching.